This is Ever Given. It's a cargo ship that's currently stuck in the Suez Canal in Egypt. And in a very short time, just a couple of minutes here, I'm going to tell you what's on board this ship and some of the other block ships that will blow your mind, how much it costs every single hour that this ship is stuck like this in the Suez Canal, and what the next steps are and when we can expect this ship to be freed. Also, how it'll have an impact on you and your life. So let's get to it. These are the overhead shots. This is the dredging operation underway for Ever Given to try to free this cargo ship that's stuck from land to land right there in this pass-through. Now, this pass-through is how cargo ships get up to Europe. And if they don't go through the Suez Canal, they have to go all the way around Africa, which is an insanely long way. Think of the Suez Canal like the Panama Canal in that way. Now we can see this is pushed right up against the land, and therein lies the problem. And that's why they're having to dredge this ship out. Here's some of the other shots of one of the dredging ships. Now, when we look at the marine traffic map, we can see right here, this is Ever Given right here, and these are the, the boats that are helping it around it. These are the tugs and the other specialized crafts that are helping around it. But let's zoom out. This is going to blow your mind. Check this out. We zoom out. And we see there are more ships in the Suez, which are mostly directed at helping out this operation. But look what happens when we go to the mouth of the Suez. Look at all these container ships that are waiting to get in. All of these are cargo ships that are being blocked because the Ever Given is across the Suez Canal, blocking everybody from going through. It's unbelievable. If you don't know what's happening here, this animation will help us out. And it's got some epic music in the background. So here you go. This is what happened to the ship. This is why we're in this position. Getting a little squirrely. All right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oof. That's what happened. And that's why we find ourselves where we are now with the ship stuck like this and no traffic able to get around it. Hence all of these tankers right here. What's in these tankers? Hang on, wait till you hear that. Here is the owners of this ship ever given apologizing for what's going on. We apologize for blocking the traffic and causing the tremendous trouble and worry to many people, including the two involved parties. We are aiming to refloat the ship around evening today. So that's what they said. They were thinking that they were going to get this thing going by evening on Saturday. And no luck so far, even though these efforts are underway. They still, even though they've moved the ship a little bit, which is some progress, finally, are stuck between the owners saying it's going to happen today or it's going to happen this weekend. And the dredging company saying it's going to take weeks and weeks and weeks this could go on for a while. Why is that crazy? For every single hour that goes by, when this ship is stuck across the canal blocking all of this stuff, every hour costs $400 million. Think about that. $400 million for every single hour that they cannot run the Suez Canal in Egypt. This is a big ship. It's uh, very, very long, and it's got a lot of uh, these different containers on it, up to 18,300 of them, and they're trying to remove those bit by bit. Check this out from USA Today before we get to what's on board. Uh, they said, how did Evergreen's ship get stuck in the Suez Canal and create the world's heaviest traffic jam? Well, first, got to understand how big it is. Here it is compared to the National Mall in Washington, D.C., here is the Suez Canal, which is very, very small, and this is the area where it is stuck in there. And there is so much traffic backed up as a result of this. All of these ships are outside where the, uh, the Evergreen ship is stuck, and they're sitting there just waiting. The U.S. Navy says they're ready to help free this cargo ship with all of their expertise, but it remains stuck as of now. What's on board? Well, goods of all sorts of types and uh, different things that are going from China, other Asian countries to destinations in Europe and then eventually possibly some of them to the United States of America. Uh, but in some of these ships, they have a different kind of cargo, and that is animals. 
thousands and thousands of animals packed tightly in these ships that are stuck out here just sitting there. And these animals aren't supposed to be on these ships for that long. They are delicate cargo, and they say they may run short of feed or other uh, things like water for these animals, the livestock that they're carrying. They've even got sheep that are just baking in these ships waiting for the Suez Canal to open. Again, will it be days or will it be weeks? And why not? There are people writing horny fan fiction about the Suez Canal and Ever Given. And uh, this one here is called Triple Extra Wide Cargo Stuff's Major Shipping Lane Delivers Huge Payload. What a world we're living in, folks. This is Ever Given. And will it be freed this weekend? What do you think? Will it take weeks like the dredging company says? How do we end up like this to begin with? Some excuses range from winds to a sandstorm that was happening in the area around this time. But this certainly exposes an issue with global shipping because we can see how much of an impact one ship is having right now. What do you think about this whole situation? Let me know in the comments and I'll be checking out what you have to say. If you haven't already, make sure you follow this page, facebook.com slash the news junkie. Hit that follow button for a video about the biggest story, the most interesting story, the craziest story happening each and every day. Over on YouTube, hit subscribe, and we'll talk to you again real soon.